All right, just want to say that this is a sponsored video. The jacket and hat that I'm wearing was sent by Ego Power Plus, but the snowblower, we bought that on our own. So special thanks once again to Sarah and Kelsey for sending me this nice jacket and this nice hat because this thing, this jacket made by Marmot, has kept me nice and warm. All right, thank you very much again. How far can this thing throw snow? Let's find out. Before we start, whenever you're working on your snowblower and you're in the auger area, always remove the battery because you never know, stuff can happen and you don't want to lose any fingers. I've heard a lot of people talk about how do you keep the snow from getting clogged up inside the chute or inside the area here. All right, how do you keep the snow from getting clogged up? So. This is what my suggestion is, and I'm just going to go ahead and start by, first of all, putting some cardboard underneath this because I don't want to get the carpet all full of the stuff I'm going to put on here, right there, in case it wants to drop. All right, so now I got my jack stand, all right, safety first. Protect the machine, don't let it get damaged if it drops hard on the ground there. My stuff in here is pretty slippery. That's because now I taped it up because I don't want to have any trademark conflicts with this company and then this company. But this is a ceramic spray wax, right? And I've already used it before I did the video for throwing the snow. But now that I've brought it in, I've, I see how, yeah, it's. it's it's coated. I can feel it. It's slippery. And if we use water to sort of like see how it's just sort of sliding off, it's beading. See how that water just beads? Because that's this ceramic spray wa uh, wax has made that hydrophobic. The water doesn't stick to it. And snow is water, right? So if we put like a ceramic wax on it, it makes the chute a lot slippery for the snow to go right through and up through there and through there. You just spray it on like this, okay? Just coat the inside of it and spray it in the chute so it all goes in there. And this is what I did before I did the, see how long I could, how far I could throw the snow and just coat it like that, all right? The reason why I'm doing it in here and not outside is because, you know, if it's cold out, it's gonna instantly freeze to ice and I'm sure it probably froze, but that's just my theory. If you want to try just spraying outside, go ahead. But this is what I use to keep the stuff, the snow from sticking to areas. And I've found that it does help. So if you want to give it a shot, go to your store and find out who or what make carries of some sort of like a ceramic wax or some sort of a spray wax. It's a lot easier to use a spray wax. All right, so here's the other tip. Pulling it up like this, trying to stick it in your trunk, and you don't know how much tension to put on it, just have these even, and you're good to go. Like this, see how that's even? It's not sticking out, all right? It's not sticking out, it's just, it's just like even, like that. Then you can bring this up. Then when you clamp it, watch how it clamps. Perfect. This side too, watch how it clamps. It just, Oops, is it too tight? Yeah, wait, hold it. See, it's sticking out just a little bit. Bring it back just so it's underneath. Now, there you go, just like that. 
easy. All right, now look. See how it started oozing down? It's all gonna be coated nicely for tomorrow's snow or the, the next day. We're gonna get a lot of snow this weekend. And just look at the way that is just, that's gonna be fun when that snow just sort of like, I mean, I overdo, I, I totally over, overdid it on a spray, but it, it's normally a quick, I just sort of overdid it for demonstration purposes. Oh, here's the other thing too. It talks about it can throw snow 35 feet. Here's what I noticed the other day when I was uh, using the snowblower. It was really windy and there was a car that was parked. So whenever I blew the snow, I was like the wind would take the snow and carry it over to where that car was. So I knew that, all right, I don't want to get my neighbor pissed off because I just buried his car with snow. So I said, all right, how can we solve this issue? And so basically, just totally throttled it back to where I'm like, all right, it's super throttled back and just literally running it on low, low setting. And the snow was just kind of going out enough that it wasn't getting carried by the wind. And this thing still had enough torque to like make that snow go through the chute and onto the grass portion, like where snow would normally be put when you snow it off the uh, snow um, sidewalk. So that's, everyone's always talking about, yeah, give it the juice and throw that snow. But really, in some instances, you might want to think about just throttling this back to even where you have to go way back here. And this thing does, it does have a lot of torque. And the torque, because it's an electric brushless motor, the torque is like awesome. So just think about that. Next time you're encountering a lot of, uh, a lot of high wind, and yeah, it's fun to throw that snow, but don't get your neighbors pissed off because you blew all the snow into their like, you know, backyard or window or <laughs> onto their car. So just sort of like throttle it back. All right. Let's help each other out out there when it's snowing, you know what I mean? All right? And you might ask, well, what are the benefits of getting this Ego 21-inch, 56-volt cord to snowblower? It, it allows you to not have to shovel so much.
I can actually have fun doing other stuff. So that's what the Ego Snowblower has allowed me to do. It's allowed me to just take my valuable time for the fun stuff and use my valuable time for the work stuff and, and balance it out in a much better equation. More time to play. <laughs> This jacket has really good flexibility because I'm having to do that swing and it's not like binding on me. I got good mobility. So that's a pretty big round 